All right, good morning, brothers and sisters of the hook. This is the old torsion axle, spring axle swap video. I'm going to swap the old springs out, put a torsion in. This is the torsion axle. 3,700 pound torsion axle, right there, 3,700. And my first step, my very first step, was to secure the front wheel. Now, I know there's going to be a lot of people say, oh, you're trying to take your life and risking your life. Yeah, I know, I know. That's okay. Second step, went and cut a bunch of old uh, steps that I had into 12 inch squares. And I'm putting it using two cement blocks. I'm going to put Put the wood under here, cement block, and going and a, a four by four on top or two by four on top there. Jack the axle up, the old axle with the old rusty spring and the old rusty axle. And in the back here, I have a, a jack stand that I've secured the back with, so I don't have any more um, cinder blocks. It's not all that heavy of a boat, ton and a half or so. And I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. And when I get through with that little part, I'll get back to you. Okay, let me also mention that as you can see, I got the 4x4 on the bottom of the cement block. The cement block turned sideways for maximum strength. And a 2x4 sitting on the bunk. The wood of the bunk and not on the metal. Same thing on the other side approximately the same distance right there four by four two by four up here centered on the uh, I guess that's about a four by eight bunk and cement block turned sideways for maximum strength and the jack in the back. Jack in the back, Jack. I have to put that up a little bit more. Okay. As we carry on. Okay, I decided that I wasn't quite high enough. So, to get, make sure that the wheels were all the way off the ground, so I added another 2x4 under the bunk and above the cement block. And another. 12 by 2 underneath the back jack on both sides okay and two by fours over here now the wheels are good and above and it's time to take the jack out that wheel turning boy that's good that's greased good Okay. Alrighty. Time to figure out what I'm going to do next. Here's the next thing to do after everything's been jacked up. Move your bearing buddies. Be gentle with them if you plan on reusing them. And I do. I'm going to have to order or go buy some marine lithium grease. You see this is just regular lithium grease. And there's salt water that gets in there. Just I guess it gets, can't help it. So I'm going to get some lithium grease for marine environments. Just about got her. Gotcha. And there we go. Good and gooped up. Good and gooped up. All right. Let me get uh, some rags and stuff. Okay. I've taken the other side off already 
and the axle was full of water. Salt water, obviously. So I've taken my bolts off. And I'm getting ready to drop the axle down and take it and get rid of it. Probably cut it in a couple pieces and throw it in the trash. There it is. Say goodbye. Goodbye. Okay. And the next thing I did sprayed some PB Blaster up on these screws up here. I had to take a, uh, I got them unscrewed, got the bolts off. I had to take a, a, a screwdriver and a hammer and tap it, tap it, tap it till this dropped. I want to take the spring off here next and then get rid of these bolts that are in there. Okay, kiddos. Before I forget, almost forgot because I already got the other side on and, and uh, as you can see, I got a tire on there. But here I had to drill half inch, half inch, three eighths inch to get it to fit completely on this rail here. Because if I had to drill a half inch here to come off, off the rail. So everything's fit nice and tight. My one problem, my one challenge is going to be when I drop the uh, trailer down. Something I did not anticipate and I cannot adjust. This is already pretty close to the uh, fender right here. Mmm. Mmm. I'll see you in just a little bit. Get back to you. Okay, boys and girls, I've got both wheels on and got a problem. Always something. That's what my favorite saying is always something. I'm going to have to take these fenders off and obviously go down to the ramp, launch the boat, raise these bunks up a notch because this boat is sitting so low now because that torsion axle my uh, skeg is almost touching the ground so I can't have that and then I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do about these fenders I've only got about the length of the width of a finger always something can't put them on top raise the boat up anyway I'll have to figure that out that's kind of fun to do though figure, figure things out okay always something all right boys and girls this is day two of the spring axle to torsion axle trailer conversion day two and as you can see I'm now a low rider but what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to, have to take off this wheel and I'm going to measure not measure I'm going to put spacers in between the frame and the axle about an inch so I can I can rise the uh, this trailer up another inch at least which is what I need to do so what I did yesterday was I ran over to Planet Surplus a fantastic place here in New Smyrna Beach Planet Surplus and bought a piece of aluminum they've got all kinds of old military stuff uh, computer stuff I mean just about everything you can think of it's a man store for sure I bought this piece of aluminum that was you know, four nine inches by twelve inches. It's a half inch thick, so I cut them in half. And there's one inch. Cut them with the old angle grinder. Love this machine, angle grinder, fantastic machine. These are going to be my spacers on each side. And as I when I have to do some measuring and drill the holes. But I'll show you that as I'm getting ready to do it. Get back to you in a bit. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I jack the trailer up right at the axle here, as you can see, right on the axle. I've got a jack there, and i got a jack there. Now I'm going to let the axle down so that it can rest completely on the jack. On 
both jacks. And it is. Okay. Now what I'm going to do, see I'm going to put two of these spacers in here, drill these holes, put two spacers in here. I'm going to move it, the not, not move the axle down, but I'm going to move the, the trailer frame up an inch. That's going to help a little bit. I also need to take in and move the bunks up at least one hole. That's going to be a real challenge. But that's, you know, part of being retired, learning things still, doing things still, instead of sitting home, watching television, getting fat. But because I know Murphy is going to show up, he likes to hang around here a lot if I'm not paying attention. When I go to remove these bolts, I'm going to put two C-clamps on here because what's going to happen is if I don't put these C-clamps on to hold that axle up, all the way over there on the other side, it's like a fulcrum. So if I loosen these bolts up and I'm not paying attention, boom! This is going to go down right down here and I'm also going to put a little safety measure down here. So I take these bolts off. I'm going to slowly let this down with the uh, C-clamps so that I can put this in and then use a pin and measure the holes. Take them in and drill them. I should only have to measure one side because the other side should be exactly the same. Should be. We'll see. Sounds like fun. Okay, I still haven't proceeded to drop the axle yet because, you know, I was just thinking about Murphy and some of the things that Murphy likes to do is he likes to do the unexpected. So, I know that the axle is not going to drop this way farther because of the jack than I want it to. But what is going to keep the axle from like torquing one way or the other? So I'm going to put one bolt in here as I'm dropping this axle down. I'm going to put this bolt in here that's longer than an inch. And I'm going to let this axle down so that it doesn't torque out of the way. Oops. Let me get rid of this. Let me get rid of this first. Okay, now... Okay, see the axle coming down? Just like I said it would. That's a half inch. That's at least an inch. Let me just stop right there. Let me just stop right there. Put that up there like that, just in case. Just in case. Okay, I'll get back to you a bit. Okay, I had to break a pencil in half in order to fit, but I've got my four holes. Here's my space. Got four holes. Now I'm going to go drill them. All right. There are my four circles where the holes are. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drill a pilot hole. I've already had to sharpen this bit once. And I hand sharpen my bits because I haven't found a uh, bit sharpener that works. So I just prefer to hand sharpen them. After a while you get pretty good at it. good enough.
Four. That bit needs to be sharpened again, so I'll have to sharpen it before I use it again. That was one-eighth, and this is a one-half. Titanium coated. This is one that throws off a lot of aluminum, as you can see. And i got to clean all this up because I don't want my dogs walking on it and maybe getting their toes cut. So I slow down. The pressure, I use off the pressure. I use off the pressure to speed the bit up. Goes right, goes right through there. Okay. I can feel it getting ready to try to go through, so I'm going to. Ease off the pressure, but speed the bit up. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna flip this over and do the rest. Okay, I am back from Home Depot, and I had to get bolts that are too long because they didn't have shorter ones. I'd rather guess long than guess short. But this is a can of cold galvanizing compound zinc rich coating that will help slow corrosion down so coat everything with this and it'll help slow salt water down from eating everything up okay brothers and sisters of the hook this is an update on the axle how it's working and everything and I'll tell you some of the things I had to do I went shrimping last night <laughs> my boat's a mess right now I've got to clean it all up everything is soaking wet still um, had to leave a little bit quick because there was a barge getting ready to come through okay first off as you can tell this I've had this trailer for many 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 years and it used to be a double axle spring trailer. Well, I took one axle off because I didn't need two axles on an 18 and a half inch boat. This used to be for like a 21 foot boat, this trailer. And so as a result, um, I took the fenders, rather than go buy it since I don't have a whole lot of money when you're retired on Social Security, I went and took the fenders and I cut them in half, cut a big chunk out of the middle, moved them together. Well, now that I've put this um, torsion axle on and moved it back a little bit, put a little bit more weight on the tongue, I, um, I've had to re-drill some holes back here and up here and everything works fine. I've got about an inch, an inch and a half of space up there and the tires do not rub i don't know if you can see it or not but they do not rub so the torsion axle is pretty tight which is great so all i've had to do is just re-drill some holes and put the fenders back on i know it doesn't look sexy i'm not about sexy i'm about functionality this works good if i had the money i would buy new ones but i don't so i am where i am i do what i do i love to do it also, also, what I've had to do was I had to move the uh, jack back a little bit closer this way, and I still need to move up this because um, taking the boat out uh, of the water, I needed I need this to push the nose up a little bit more. 
a little bit more um, so that it goes on the nose better. It's easier to jack up because I have to have to gun it. But anyway, that's what it looks like on the inside. It is perfect. After I jacked it up, that's an inch. Put some spacers in there. We are perfect and good to go. Went down the road just fine. Okay, that's it.